Hey everyone, it's Doro Sadovich from Team Ted Fitness and I wanted to make a quick video today for you with five tips on how to stick to your workout. So first and foremost, you gotta schedule it. You can't just come home after work or wake up in the morning and be like, how about I should work out today? You have to put it in your schedule and you have to make it not negotiable. You gotta say, you know, it's me time, it's it's time with myself to do what's right for myself so you gotta fit it into your calendar and remember that you don't need to work out two to three hours a day to get results 20 to 30 minutes is plenty of time and you don't have to do it every day even five days a week is better than nothing um, honestly three days a week is better than nothing but the key here is schedule your time go in with a strategy that's tip number two um, don't just show up at the gym or you know clear out your workout room and go you gotta go in there with a plan. Now, there are tons of free resources out there. There's like a dozen health magazines that all, every single issue has some kind of workout plan. Um, Pinterest is just overflowing with ideas for quick workouts, equipment free workouts, workouts for pregnant women, workouts for, you know, such and such injury or whatever. So you can find something, but go in with a plan. Have a strategy for what you're gonna do, how you're gonna go about doing it. You know, get an idea of what you need. Do you need equipment? Do you need a certain amount of space? Um, is it gonna be loud? So should you do it in the morning? Should you do it somewhere where it's cushioned? Come in with a plan, and that way you can just get in, get it done, and get out. Get some accountability. That's tip number three. Um, get, you know, whether it's your spouse or a roommate or a friend, somebody to do it with you, that is the best because then you can push each other, you can support each other, you can congratulate each other. But even if you can't have that, have somebody text you or, you know, check in on you and, and if you tell somebody, hey, I gotta get my workout in at 6.30 in the morning, you know, have them text you at 8 and be like, did you do it? Did you do it? You know, just that support and accountability can make a huge world of difference when you know you get someone else either depending on you or someone else um, I mean, watching out for you. So find somebody, some kind of success partner to have um, during your workouts. Also, fuel your body. Now, health and fitness, you know, fitness is a small part of it. It's really all nutrition. Um, but, you know, you don't have to be super perfect about it. The better you are, the better you'll feel, obviously, and the better your results. But keep in mind that what you eat goes directly into your body and affects how your body works. So if you're filling up on pizza and beer right before a workout, yeah, you're going to have a shitty workout. Surprise! I mean, that's just how it goes. But if you, you know, you time things correctly, you fuel yourself with things that actually help your body function better, that help your digestive system function better, that help you have the energy to work out, then you're going to be able to get through those workouts and you're going to get the most out of the workouts. Because you don't want to show up to the gym, be ready to go, and then be bloated and gassy because you ate like crap, and then waste your time. I mean, if you want to get in there and you plan on sticking to your workouts and your schedule and your routine, then do yourself a favor and fuel yourself correctly so that you can get the most out of your time and effort. And lastly, be reasonable. Honestly, you know, if you've never run a foot in your life, don't go out and try to do a 10K. Like, just don't. Same as, you know, if you've never lifted a weight in your life, don't try to lift 100 pounds. You're not going to impress anyone if you break your back or get a hernia because that, that's not pretty. Um, you know, be reasonable about what you choose to do, how you go about doing it, and, and realize it is so okay to be an amateur, to be a beginner, to not be perfect at the beginning. That's the goal. That's, that's the, that is what you should be at the start. You should be learning. You should be progressing, building up gradually, and learning from things that didn't work, things that did work, and improving. You don't have to be an expert right away. You don't have to be a pro, but you have to be willing to be reasonable and you know, know your own limitations, know your own body, learn what is a challenge versus an injury, and, and just work through things, you know? Don't be unrealistic, um, because that's one way to set yourself up for disappointment. All right, so those are my five tips to help you stick with your workout. Hopefully you'll find them useful. Um, definitely feel free to give me any feedback if you found this useful and helpful, or if you thought they were stupid. Either way, let me know, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. So thank you.